morning. Now today is a Saturday and we tend not to do big park days on a Saturday just because they're a bit hectic for us. Um, and also because this trip is slightly longer than our normal trips, we're coming up to sort of the midway point. <clears throat> It's really, really important to take a proper chill day. If you don't take a proper chill day, it might impact on the rest of the holiday, so take those breaks. So today it is coming up for 20 past 10, and we are having a pool day, for, well, for half the morning. We are popping down to Jambo House because we've not used their pool before. Um, so we're gonna scooch down there, probably stay there for a few hours, um, have a bit of a splash, and then we are heading down to, funnily enough, Disney Springs, girls love that place bit of shopping and um, a spot of lunch as well. Then we're gonna head back to Kadani where we are staying and then take a bus into um, Magic, no, into Hollywood Studios. We've got a fast pass for um, Rock and Roller Coaster because Luke still hasn't done that this trip. And then we have a fast pass for seating at Fantasmic, which is Daisy's favorite show. So we'll see you at the pool. So this is the walk through like the hotel and this is one of the big windows. So we've done the walk from Kadani. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. This resort just looks amazing. I like those two men like with their arms stretched up. Looks like they're doing a Mexican wave. <laughs> or they're on a roller coaster. Yeah, that's the first one. Are you even men? <laughs> We're having a nice chilled time at the pool. The pool here is really, really nice, but strangely... It doesn't go deep. Yeah. What's that about? And what do you think of the slide? We actually prefer the pool at Kadani. Um, but yeah, it's nice and chilled. There's a nice sort of seating area here, which is really nice. Daisy has just sent Tracy into the quick serve to get, what have you asked for? I don't really know. An Akudi uh, cookie? <laughs> Kudu cookie. And a kudu I'm cookie. Like that and she'll come back with something nice. Yeah, so Tracy's got to get that. So we will see what that's like. Daisy will do a full review on the cookie in a minute. So Tracy has returned with a bounty of baked goods. <laughs> we have a giraffe for Claire and a kudu cookie. You're having a giraffe. Nice and both. Hold on, hold on. Let's have a look. So what's this one? I don't know, but it looks yummy. Daisy wanted that one. It's a kudu cookie. I saw what's it on a kudu? Just... I don't know. What's a kudu with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and an eclair. They both look terrible. I'm not right. sharing both of them. Right. We need a taste test, days. I don't know how to tackle them. Straight in. Really? Yeah, big bite. That one's kind of stuck to the top there. Yeah. Right. Get it in your gob, mate. Mm -hmm. Chocolate's really good. Nice. <laughs> oh, I didn't get served yet. Sorry. <laughs> What's it like? What's flowing? <laughs> <laughs> right, what does it taste like? You know the Fox's Golden Creams? Yeah. It's like a really fancy, massive version of them. Nice. Right, what's this one? That's a very good question, Keith. I think it's, what did my mum say it was? An eclair. A giraffe eclair. <laughs> <laughs> what's that like? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talk us through it. I can't have any. Pardon? You can't have any. Not even a bite. So. No. What's it like? Oh, it's really good. Really, really lovely here. Right, heading back to Kadani. As you leave Jumbo House, there's this like wooden plaque on the wall, which is supposed to give you good luck if you touch it. There's a little sign saying. Give him a rub. Whoa. Nice. It's gone like all smooth from everyone's touch. So we're all freshened up from our morning at the pool, which was very nice. Luke is watching me qualifying for the Formula One because he's massively into Formula One. And we are heading to Disney Springs. Yep, and he's going to join us there later on. Hopefully we'll grab a bite to eat before we head to Blue Studios for Fantasmic later tonight. Nice. I think this is my favourite bus stop ever. Yeah. I think that's my favourite bus. Well, here's a familiar sight. Where are we going, Days? 
We're just gonna wing it. Now we've never tried chicken guy, but we are really keen to try it. Daisy's desperate. However, there is no way we can go here without Luke. Yeah, we can. <gasps> no, we can. I can. I feel so guilty. So this is a massive Coke shop, and there's a really cool bar up on the top. Well, we, we've heard it's really cool. So we're gonna go and take a look. So this literally has every bit of Coke merch ever. It's a massive glass case, but you can have it. <laughs> that is really nice. Decided to sack the lift off, use the ramp. I can tell you now, 100% worth the walk up. This view is awesome. So there's a bar up here, the music's nice. Yeah, very cool. What do you think? Pretty cool. Yeah. It's really cool up there. We decided not to stay for drinks. It was a bit hectic and girls want to do a bit of shopping. Well worth the look up though. That might be one of the best views we've ever seen at Disney Springs. And um, the drinks menu look pretty good as well. Drink uh, Coke products, obviously, and cocktails and bits. So on our last trip, Luke and I went into this uh, cinema. It's really, really cool because you sort of sit there and then you've got a table in front of you. So you can sit in there and have your dinner and watch a film. We saw the Meg and uh, yeah, I jumped about 30 times in it, which all the other people in there thought was well funny. This is the Disney style shop. Daisy loves it in here. And you like it, ain't you, Trace? <laughs> so the spirit jersey you like. I like the purple one as well. So the girls haven't been in there yet. Luke and I popped in the other day. Let's see what they think. It does smell like new home. Right. Put that back. What are you? Dropper. What have we got here? Really cool mugs. You like mugs? Oh, that is cool. Nice. So I take it back, Daisy's uh, just developed some wicked skills. Oh my goodness, how? I love all this basketball merch. The only problem is, if you were wearing that, like let's say you're wearing a, a Heat t-shirt, someone comes up to you and go, oh dude, are you a Heat fan? You just go, um, no. Yeah, or you're or you'd be in a bar and someone just comes up and goes, I hate the heat, and it's like, okay. Yeah, okay. So this is House of Blues, one of our favorite bars. It's just such a cool place to sit and have a drink, listen to some music, soak it all up. So where are we? What's it like in here? Amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, so you just have a look up there, do your ordering, and they build it for you. Kind of like subways for pizza. And then it looks like there's plenty of seating outside, so we're going to eat outside. So we are sat outside at Blaze, and what a lovely place to sit and wait for a pizza. So the pizzas have come out. I have got this one. Been on a little bit of a diet recently, so I'm sort of trying to stay keto. And this one is on a keto base. So interesting to see what that's like. I've gone for a normal base. Veg out pizza, so like veg pizza pizzas. Um, yeah, it looks interesting. It's gone up. It's got squash on it. <laughs> what do you go for? Got an art lover. It's very nice. Got artichoke on it. Ricotta. Fancy. Nice. So we are all done at Blaze. We have demolished all three pizzas. What do you reckon? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Good, I wasn't it? I think I'd feel confident next time to give it a go, building my own. Yeah. Give it a go. We're a bit scared of the whole process because it seems really complicated more than it should be, but so we went from just like standard pizzas. But I think next time I might try. I built my own last time, loved it. Got one off the menu this time, loved it even more. Probably one of the best pizzas I've ever had. Really yeah. liked it. And my one on the keto base was spot on, really, really lovely. So for the three of us, Daisy had water, 
Tracy had a beer, I had a Diet Coke, 49.10. it from Disney Springs so we are hopping on an internal bus to Old Key West and a very special resort and then we're gonna get another internal bus to Hollywood Studios we were gonna get the Skyliner from Caribbean Beach but we don't know Caribbean Beach and it might be too big we might get lost and it might rain and it might rain it's looking very grey all around us at the moment yeah nice time bit of shopping very nice time thank you right see you at Hollywood Studios so we've hopped up the bus, we've got 12 minutes until the one to Hollywood Studios, so we're gonna have a look around. This is my favorite resort ever. <laughs> How does it feel? It feels weird to be here and not- I tell you what it feels like, it feels like home. It does feel like home. It feels like, it smells like freshly baked biscuits <laughs> and a warm blanket. And I've just come up and someone's just gone, oi Keith, come and give, do you want a really big massive hug? And I'm like, yes please, I would like that. And now I'm getting it. And now I'm getting in the shops, it's gonna make it worse. We are here, Hollywood Studios. The music is going, the vibes are good. Daisy's got a dance on. And we are hoping for good weather because we are here to see Fantasmic. We have got a fast pass for Rock and Roller Coaster. Yes. Fingers crossed. Number one son, Lukey Boy, will be meeting us outside at six o'clock. Who knows? We're seeing the park. Hiya. How are you? Have a good evening. Thank you. What happened to you? We're in. Huh? It's sprinkling. It's, it's sprinkling. It's the one. You like that? <laughs> I think this is going to be this trip's spirit jersey, isn't it? I'll get one every trip. <laughs> it's lovely. You just stop for a churro and it comes with this chocolate sauce. It's warm. You, you should see what mum's looking at you like. No. Uh, <laughs> I can, but it's a bit fat, so. Um, What's it like? Every, Terrible. Everything I wish it would be a more. Really? So we're heading into Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. We're still waiting for Luke. But Tracy's not done this before. Oh, no, this. Yeah. Some great photo ops here if you're kids or if you are into cars. We're going to get in the queue. Sally, I draw the mess. So I guess you could say that Lightning McQueen is brought to you today by... My bum's cold. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 the puppy sound. <laughs> That's right. He taught me how to drive backwards, how to tip tractors, how to... So that's your first time doing Lightning, Lightning McQueen? It's quite sweet. It's quite good. Oh, it's yeah. brilliant. Yeah, it's pretty done. And we've been joined by... Mo. Hey. Um, to be honest, I'm just honoured to have been a part of, uh, of motorsport history in there. <laughs> Lightning McQueen. I remember seeing his first race um, back when he first took part of the Piston Cup 2009. Um, just a rookie back then, but fantastic stuff. And uh, yeah, just a pleasure to be here, Jim. That ride or attraction is so good, and it's really tucked out the way. It's a little bit behind Rock and Roller Coaster, so really easily missed. Didn't queue for long, straight on. I like that a lot. And it's to sit down out the rain in the aircon, whatever works for you if you want some shelter. Winner, winner. Right, we've got a fast pass for Rock and Roller Coaster. Is this the first time you've done it this trip? Yeah, it is. Nice. How are you feeling? Four oh, very excited, Keith. Um, yeah, you know me, I love a bit of Aerosmith, a bit of rock and roll, so uh, yeah, ready to take it on. So, Daisy is. Oh, I'm gone. You're gone. Oh, no. How's that? It was alright. <laughs> that was good. It was good fun. I just wanted to go on with Daisy. Whoa, Sunset Ranch Barking! Oh. Rumour has it a major purchase has just gone down. 
Oh, and you have to stay tuned for next week's video. <laughs> <laughs> what a cliffhanger. What did you get? A spirit jersey. Which one? The blue one. Open the bag up. Please. Please. I like the little one. Oh, that's the one. That's the one. Bosh. Very nice. This time. Oh, oh cancel. <laughs> so we are sat, having a little sit down before Fantasmic. Luke's having a cheeky pre firework slash extravaganza snack. What have we gone for there? I've got the, uh, the onion ring burger and chips here. Um, or fries, come on, let's be cultural. Um, Absolutely sublime. I've only had a bite of the burger because it was a little bit lopsided, but I'm not going to hold that against it, man. The flavour's good, the texture's good, and uh, yeah, I'm excited for a good burger experience. The tower is all lit up, and we're heading on into Fantasmic. It's my favourite, so it's not good. So we are currently outside Fantasmic. As you can see from the queues there, they're not letting people in because it sounds like there's a bit of a storm on its way. So we're gonna wait it out. The kids are gonna get some ice cream. We will report back shortly. Yeah, hopefully they'll change their minds or realize that it's okay and see us shortly. Yeah. If not, we'll do something else. But there has been like thunder and lightning. So yeah. Yeah. You're gonna have to evacuate the premises. This is private property. There is thunder within 25 miles. We cannot show the show. I'm gonna have to ask you leave. No cameras, please, sir. Someone needs to be sacked. Look, upside down, just jammed in there. What a, what a liberty. Oh, so what flavour do you go for, Dezo? Butter pecan. What is it like? I might get angry about the way I say that. Butter pecan. Pecan. Butter pecan. 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 What's it like? Really good. Nice. You seem to have this under control now. Uh, yeah, it's safe. Yeah, you haven't got any around your face or anything. Oh yeah, well, that's good to hear because I thought I did. Yeah. But it's good to know. I, I'll just walk back to the hotel. What flavour did you get? I don't know, Daisy Boy. I told her to surprise me. <laughs> we had a bit of a panic there. Had to act quick. There's a bit of a delay. There was a bit of a delay. But they're going ahead. Obviously the weather has moved on. So we are going in. Which is a right result, Dezo. Yes. That is a right result.
Fantasmic done. Yeah, amazing. Really amazing. Stunning as ever. Yeah, and now we're heading off to the bus. Okay. So Tracy and I are heading out. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautifully lit up. I always like it at night here. Yeah, should give you a look at the main street. And what's really nice, Luke and Daisy are staying in the park. Yeah, they decided to do Tower of Terror when they come home. So. Yeah, so they're going to meet us back at the room. It's really nice that they get to do that now because they're a bit older and a bit more sensible. And Not that they weren't sensible, but well, Daisy's a sensible one. Excellent. So they're going to meet us back at the room. Right, it's just coming up for 25 past nine and we are back in the room. Well, Tracy and I are. Luke and Daisy are still at Hollywood Studios. Having a very nice time, no doubt. Um, Fantasmic was brilliant. We've done that a whole bunch of times, but it's just, it is a must do. Um, we didn't think it was gonna happen because of the thunder and lightning. However, fair play to Disney. They held back, held back, and but they still put it on. So it was brilliant. So as I say, it's coming up for 25 past nine. We're gonna have a very early night tonight because we are up crazy early in the morning. Uh, we are doing the extra crazy bonkers early magic hours for Hollywood Studios. So they start at six o'clock and run till eight, then the park opens at eight for regular guests. So we are planning to be on park for 6 a.m. So we're gonna be getting up at about five to be on the 525 bus out of here. So we will see you in the morning. Really, really hope you've enjoyed this. If you are enjoying this series, please consider subscribing for future content. Thanks for watching. Cheers, ears.